ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमात फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू यूज एन एस आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप विद इन दॉजिसम ऑल दो वी कैन मेक अवर ओन दैट इज कस्टम एस आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप विद इन दॉजिसम बट एट दिस टाइम वी आर यूजिंग द बिल्ट इन एस आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप so first you need to go to the memory folder on the left hand side and you can take d uh, sorry sr flip flop so this is a very simple flip flop so what uh, how it used to work there are two inputs and two outputs you are not supposed to do any sort of with these enable and zero and all this you must have to keep focus on five pins the first is set reset or sr and q and q dash this is q dash this is q and this is s and this is r okay and the the mid one is the clock pin so first we will go and connect our clock pin with the clock we will go and we will search for our clock so we will go to wiring we will take our clock pulse and this is our clock pulse okay now now why it is called as flip flop or memory element there are two logics when our s is 1 when our our s is 1 then our q becomes 1 when s pin turns to 1 then our q becomes 1 and after q becomes 1 if we use to make it 0 or 1 that is the s it is not going to affect the value on q once it is it becomes 1 due to the value of s after if we use to make it low or high or whatsoever the q is not going to change it will be placed so this way due to this reason we used to call it as the flip flop or the memory element okay okay now and conversely for 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 the um, q dash that when r r pin is 1 when r pin is 1 then our q dash will become 1 like you, you can see when r is 1 q dash is 1 and if we used to make it 0 or 1 if we used to make r 0 and 1 it is not going to change its output so this that is why it is called as the flip flop now you can see that i will make uh, 1 i will make it uh, 1 s1 and r0 so q is selected now if we if i use to change the state of the s it is not going to affect the q output okay so this is a very simple concept and the core logic is just the latching action and nothing else so hopefully you got the concept that how we can use the sr flip flop within the logism so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe